Travelling north from the Gulf of Carpentaria, right up into the heart of the top end, the country changes dramatically. And so does my definition of what it means to be chasing the edge out here. It's not just about finding fish at the edge of the continent. It's as much about finding the edges of my own experience, going to places I haven't been before, and finding these landscapes that seem to exist right at the edge of believability. This is a beautiful make-believe country that's as real as you or me, and it's waiting out here for us to discover it. The Gulf of Carpentaria is a 300,000 square kilometer body of water that is delineated by the tip of Cape York to the east and Cape Arnhem in the west. This shallow sea is one of the best fishing destinations in the world, and the country that surrounds it is some of the wildest in Australia. From Lorella Springs at the base of the Gulf, I pointed the Isuzu north to Lemon Bight. Where Lorella is an adventure just getting anywhere near the Gulf, Lemon promised much easier access to the water and the Limonbite River is huge in comparison to the creeks that run out of Lorella. There's a big fishing camp at Limonbite with basic facilities, but you can still camp pretty remotely along the river's banks. Compared to Lorella, the access out to the Gulf should be a lot easier at uh, Lemon here, mate. You're a little bit closer to the mouth just at the ramp there, but also I think this river's got a little bit more water in it. Yeah, that's it mate, it's a lot deeper, so I think we'll be able to get out to the mouth there and have a bit of a fish out there and see what's going on. I think I'm a little bit hooked on being on the water as well mate so I'm looking forward to jumping out there and just you know getting the wind in my hair again. Ah uh, you've got the bug, you got the fishing bug mate, I'm glad. Well we've got plenty of time so we'll get out there and give it a red hot crack. While not strictly low range country, the tracks in the Limon are full of soft bulldust patches and we had to take it pretty easy with the boat trailer. Soon though, we were set up on the bank of the Lemon Bite River, watching the tide roll away as the sun began to set. Even this far south in the Gulf, the tides still run around two meters, which meant an early morning attack on the water. It's good to be back on the water again. Just pulled up to camp here at Lemon Bite Fishing Camp, and we're perched right on the edge of the Lemon Bite River. Now, this whole system has got about 80 kilometers of salt rivers and creeks to explore, hopefully catch some fish in. It really feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. And I'm hoping, put the swags up tonight, launch the boat in the morning, and get out into about 80 kilometers of salt river and creeks that run all the way out to the bite. Pretty easy access out there here. There's plenty of water in the river here. Hopefully, plenty of fish. Camping on the bank of the river here is really something to behold. There's a tension in the air, the sense that you aren't alone. It brings a finely honed edge of fear to rest against your skin but it's that wildness that draws us here to begin with. The air is as still as a painting, hanging humid and sultry. Dawn rises through mist, as if the river has risen at night to soak everything in its perfume and is being chased back down by the sun to run to the sea. There's a whole level of freedom that I feel when I'm on the water, and that tension is there too. Break down in the four-wheel drive and you can always just pull over. Sink a boat here and you're swimming for your life in more ways than one. It's exhilarating on many levels. The wind in your hair, the fear, the unknown. Will we catch monster fish or will a few beers have to do? You never know what's going to happen out here, but the sense of adventure, you can hear it singing in the mangroves. We worked our way down the river toward the mouth, fishing some of the creek mouths along the way for barra, jacks, and jewies. This is also prime queenie country, and they get as big as horses up here. But if you're pulling lures, there's no telling what's going to end up on the other end. All right, I think we've got ourselves a cooter here. Look at that thing. That is a big fish though. It has a big fat barracuda. It's definitely not something that we want. And uh, we're gonna try and get them off without bringing them in the boat because they are very slimy and smelly. And they have giant teeth too. And, and they have teeth. Tell you what, they are quite powerful, these um, cooter. You don't want to get your fingers anywhere near those teeth, I tell you. So anyway, we'll let this guy go and hopefully he goes back out into the ocean and doesn't attack our lures again. Mm. 